Could technology ultimately conquer human mortality? It's a tantalizing and thought-provoking thought, isn't it? Imagine a world where new technologies could radically extend not just our lifespan, but our health span too. It's not just about adding years to life, but life to years. An Oxford study suggests that such a future could greatly boost economic productivity. We're talking about adding between one to four trillion dollars to the US GDP annually for each extra year of healthy life. That's not pocket change. But as we venture into this brave new world, ethical debates are bound to emerge. Who gets access to these life extending technologies? How do we ensure they're used responsibly? These are questions we can't afford to ignore. The potential benefits are immense, but we must also consider the ethical implications. After all, the future of mortality could very well be in our hands. Imagine living an extra healthy decade. More time with loved ones, more time to fulfill your dreams. That's the promise of technology. It's not just about adding years to life, but adding life to years. Indeed, surveys indicate that the majority of us want to remain active and independent as we age. We yearn for a quality of life that allows us to continue contributing, learning and growing. So how can we make this dream a reality? Enter the world of innovation. Artificial intelligence or AI holds great promise in this realm. By analyzing population data, it can reveal biological markers of aging, giving us new insights into the processes that drive our lifespan. This information could lead us to develop interventions that slow, halt, or even reverse age-related decline. But it's not just AI that's making waves. Groundbreaking tools like genetic engineering and stem cell therapies show immense potential for rejuvenating our bodies and minds. These advances could transform our understanding of aging and open up exciting new possibilities for health and longevity. Yet as we venture into this brave new world, we must remember that technology is a tool, not a panacea. It's up to us to wield it wisely. This will require collaboration across disciplines from biology and computer science to ethics and policy making. We'll need to ensure that these innovations are developed responsibly with an eye towards their social implications. Moreover, it's vital that we don't lose sight of our shared humanity in our pursuit of progress. After all, the goal isn't just to live longer, but to live better. We want a future where everyone has the opportunity to enjoy a long, healthy and fulfilling life. The opportunities are boundless, but with great potential comes great responsibility. As we stand on the cusp of this new era, let's strive to create a world that values both the quality and the quantity of life. Let's work together to harness the power of innovation for the benefit of all. Yet as with any great leap forward, there are risks to consider. Imagine a world where anti-aging therapies are the norm, but only the wealthy can afford them. This creates a new form of inequality where those with resources can enjoy extended health and vitality while others are left behind. We must question, do we want to live in a society that allows the wealthy to cling to youth, power and wealth, while the less fortunate age as nature intended? Moreover, consider the potential for resentment from younger generations. If older people hold on to their wealth and positions of power for longer, opportunities for younger individuals may be stifled. Striking a balance where all generations feel respected and valued will be a delicate dance. And let's not forget the elephant in the room, overpopulation. If we all start living significantly longer, the strain on our planet's resources could be immense. So how do we navigate these potential pitfalls? Let's paint a picture of a path forward. First, we need data benchmarking. By creating universal standards to measure biological age, we ensure a level playing field when it comes to assessing who could benefit most from anti-aging therapies. Second, we need to get to the root of the matter. Utilizing computational models, we can uncover the mechanisms of longevity. This way, we can work towards therapies that address the cause, not just the symptoms of aging. Third, we need ethical guardrails in place. As we push the boundaries of human lifespan, it's crucial that we develop policies and guidelines that ensure responsible innovation. Lastly, we need to design an accessible infrastructure. The benefits of anti-aging therapies should be within reach of everyone, not just a privileged few. By creating inclusive systems to distribute these therapies, we can mitigate the risk of inequality. The path forward is not without its challenges, but with careful planning and collaboration, we can navigate these obstacles. In this brave new world of extended lifespans, it's not just about living longer, it's about living better for everyone. 
So we return to our initial question. Can technology conquer human mortality? This journey has unveiled the immense potential that longevity technologies hold. Imagine the economic boom as healthy longevity boosts productivity, the joy of an extra healthy decade spent with loved ones, and the excitement of scientific breakthroughs in reversing age-related decline. But as we stand on the precipice of this brave new world, we must also ask ourselves some hard questions. How can we redesign our social systems for radically longer lives? What safeguards are needed to avoid generational inequality? How do we ethically balance the quality and quantity of life? These are not just philosophical musings, but practical considerations for a shared future. A future where, with careful planning, emerging longevity innovations could unlock healthier, more fulfilling lifespans for all. But progress requires proactive, collaborative policymaking to ensure ethical, equitable development. What future do you want to see?